Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a pink diamond Jameer Nelson game. But before we do that, we got to lock in the set. And before we do that, I want to give a huge shout out to my guy T for letting me hop on this account to make this thing happen. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Yes, pink diamond Jameer Nelson, come home, my boy. Yes, sir. I can't. I can't wait to use this card. I'm telling y'all, next gen wise, I'm gonna be on current gen. But next gen wise, watch out. Hall of Fame range steady. Uh, we're not gonna go over the badges quite yet, but I'm telling you, there's something to be excited about with this pink diamond Jameer Nelson here. But oh baby, come out. Yes, sir. Look at him, man. He's a little bit short, but that's about the only thing not to like about this pink diamond Jameer. Hey man, him and Dwight used to do their thing, and I can't wait to use this card in my team unlimited looking at pink diamond jameer nelson here six feet tall that's the one thing that is a little worrisome to me 96 three ball he has a 70 driving dunk but with his tendency i don't think he even can dunk 93 ball handle 92 steel 92 perimeter defense 95 speed speed ball acceleration as well as that 94 lateral quickness tendency wise is the zero driving dunk tendency he still might be able to throw it down we'll see in shoot around what that is like looking at the defensive tendencies pretty mediocre all the way around i can't say they're good when they're just really not 18 hall of famers catch and shoot corner especially as diamond giant slayer downhill handles for days quick first step tight handles does come with a hall of fame unpluckable flexible hot zone hunter hot start range extender does have the hall of fame steady shooter which is better than gold steady shooter but it's going to be interesting to see just wait till jameer gets takeover though he's gonna be incredible tyler shooter floor general as well as hall of fame volume shooter looking at the 34 gold badges difficult shots acrobat ankle breaker break started pickpocket pick dodger pick clamps hard crush interceptor intimidator rebound chaser the fact that he comes with rebound chaser is kind of incredible bailout stop and go dead eye green machine slippery off ball as well so badges he doesn't have there's not a lot of them outside of showtime which i mean i don't even know really if he can get I, there's no way he can get showtime dunks if he can even dunk the ball looking at jameer on current gen and my this dude is tiny maybe it's because my camera angle is zoomed out a little bit yeah that's why that's why he looks so tiny see he doesn't look that bad anymore i mean not that bad i wouldn't say he looks you know tall by any means but he doesn't look that short like he can at least move a little bit the big oh whoa 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 jameer we gotta we gotta we gotta figure out this release whoa whoa, whoa wait a second i'm confused here hold up I'm confused at what what release is this? I don't know. It's kind of weird. It kind of reminds me of the Derrick Rose base. Uh, if you just look at his feet. But the upper is so weird. Like, he cocks his shot way, way back. It's just kind of an intriguing release. I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's good. I'm, I mean, I, I look, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it right now. The more I shoot with it, obviously, the better off I'm going to be. But it's just my fir first couple reps, I was kind of stunned at how it looked. Uh, and that's what really got my attention was how it looked, not how it necessarily feels. In the half court for Jameer, obviously does get, have that Curry escape, which is going to be super, super nice to have. Again, he's going to be moving and grooving in the half court setting. There's no doubt about that. Just with his ability, his Hall of Fame handles for days. Has some incredible Hall of Fame badges. And I will say, the more I use his release, the more I'm comfortable greening-wise with it. So, we'll say that's all great. Can he dunk the ball? That's the one question I do have for this Jameer Nelson card. And we're going to see here. Okay, he can rise up and throw it down. I didn't know because of the zero driving dunk tendency if he really would be able to dunk or not. But yeah, I might rather just take layups with him because I feel like his dunks are going to get blocked quite often. Looking at my opponent here, he's got a decent lineup. John Wall, Kobe, Jimmy Butler, Jameson, and AD. It's going to be interesting to see Jameer Nelson try to guard John Wall and see what that matchup brings to the table. I'm very, very excited to use Jameer. I just honestly want him to get takeover. Hopefully, oh wait, let me see. I want to see his takeover. Hopefully, he has sharp take. That's the one thing I want from Jameer. Because if he, oh my. That jumper was butter right there for Jameer. But it's, it's, if he has sharp takeover, watch me shoot heavies. I'm not going to care. It's not going to matter. Ah, ah. Chill, patience. Oh, yeah, Jameer. Come here. I need to reset. Get it back to him. Come here. That's a tough, that's a tough shot. That's honestly a tough possession. Back to Jameer. I know you got tireless shooter on Hall of Fame. Gets that one to go as well. Please be careful with where you throw it. 
Otherwise, Jameer Nelson might get takeover pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, look at the box. Look at the defense Jameer is playing on John Wall. Look at the defense. You're going to post me up? What are you going to do? Look at the defense. Oh, my word. Good, man. That's me. That's great defense. Come on. Come back. I'm not, I'm not finished with you yet, John Wall. That's an absolute kill. I just got to get his release timing down. All right, come on, Jameer. That's an absolute kill. I'm just slightly late. It's like his release is super, super quick. So I just got to get it timed just that little bit better. And I'll be just fine. Oh, yeah, have good defense. Oh, yeah, run, Jameer. That's me. Uh-oh. Get those puppies in order, Jameer Nelson. He now has takeover. Now I just got to shoot a couple heavies. I don't quit. The game just started. Jameer Nelson had my first 12 points, and I got to quit already. We weren't even a minute into the game in which Jameer Nelson got to quit. Let's see what he's like in Triple Threat Online. My opponent here has D-Wade, J.R. Smith, and Blake Griffin, so he's got a decent enough team, but hey, man. Jameer Nelson impressed me in that My Team Unlimited game. Yes, sir. Look at the defense he plays. A lot of the defense he plays is because of his speed and lateral quickness. Like, his defensive stats are good. He's just short and, I mean, badge-wise, isn't that incredible. That's just a good shot. Can't even be mad. I, I really do wish his full-court dribble sticks were just a little bit better. Because that's one thing about it. I just killed him. His release is so quick. The more I use him off the dribble, the, the quicker his release gets, I swear. I really want Jameer to get takeover so I can shoot a heavy. That's a that's a full bar. 2K, I understand it, right? But he's got Hall of Fame range. I mean, there's no reason to give me a full when he's got half range. I knew I timed that release well, too. I could feel it. Thank you. Like, I'm starting to feel that release time, and then trust me, it is super easy to time. It really, truly is. There's no way. Thank you, AD. Who wants a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. It's a crab. That's a crab. Look at Jameer Nelson figuring it out, getting another green light. If Jameer gets takeover, nothing, nothing that he does is gonna matter anyway. Like I said, Jameer, I figured out his release and it's lights out since. Like, I don't know what else there is to say. Pretty good defense. Good enough, right, Jameer? Good enough defense. Hey, quit hacking me. Oh, man. He got a 69% and knocked it down anyway. Did somebody say Hall of Fame steady shooter? That's fine. That's a 30. Yeah. Talk about steady shooter now. I'll shoot anything. I shot it early. That's me. Catch and shoot. Bow, it doesn't matter. That could have read 95% and it still would have been green for Jameer Nelson. You shot that? Finish him. It doesn't matter. I'll shoot anything with Steady Shooter. Knocks it down to end the game. Looking at the final box score here, 7 to 10 from the field. 21 points, two rebounds, and guys, I'm telling you, one of his threes got blocked. One was 69%. The other was a heavy as well. I don't know. Jameer Nelson did his thing. All in all, guys, is Pink Diamond Jameer Nelson a fun card to use? Absolutely. I think he's going to be even better on next gen, to be honest with you. But does that mean he's worth locking in MT4? Absolutely not. And the reason I say that is because we have a lot of point guards on the auction house that are super, super good. We got a guy like Ben Gordon who you can run. You got Colin Sexton. And I would say that's who Jameer Nelson kind of feels similar to is Colin Sexton. I do still think Colin Sexton is that little bit better than Jameer, at least on current gen. On next gen, Jameer might because of the Hall of Fame steady shooter, but that is my final opinion on it. When you compare 
this Colin Sexton to Jameer Nelson, then you're going to draw a lot of the similar comparisons. I really, truly do believe that when, you know, you compare the stats, they're going to give you pretty similar stuff, pretty similar stats. And that's kind of my comparison to him. But is he worth the lock in? Absolutely not. Fun card to use? Absolutely. That is my final takeaway. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.